All right, so in this video, we'll take a look at how I have replaced the ESC of this MJX HyperGo. So from the box, we get this 45 amp brushless ESC. It's a pretty basic ESC actually. And the reason I've changed this is because the way this ESC is programmed is not that good. And, and especially if you have this truck and you drive it, you'll realize that the throttle response is total crap. At first you might think that it's a radio transmitter uh, issue. And I did swap this radio and the receiver with a Dumbo RC setup. But the throttle response was same, which indicated that the ESC had to be swapped. And that's what I did. Now this particular ESC is locked from the factory. So you cannot change the settings like the throttle range and the amount of acceleration punch and all that. So even though this is a 45 amp ESC, uh, it's of no use as such. Instead, I've installed a LC Racing 35 amp brushless ESC, which is basically a hobby when 30 amp ESC. And this particular ESC is programmable. You can change all the settings and the throttle response is a lot better. And you can also adjust the punch level on this ESC. And if you want, you can use this hobby wing program card as well to change the settings on the ESC. And that's something you cannot do on this MJX ESC that we get. And even in the Facebook group of the MJX RC, a lot of owners who have this particular model have said the same thing. This particular ESC is absolutely garbage and has no purpose. Now if you want, you can use a 60 amp ESC as well. However, this 35 amp ESC from LC Racing is the best I would say. So here's how I've wired it up. So the blue will go to the blue one. The yellow from the motor is actually connected to the orange of the ESC, which is basically the middle wire, I suppose. Yes. And then this white wire is connected to the yellow of the ESC. So once you wire it up like this, you can calibrate the ESC correctly. Otherwise, you will have the throttle channel reversed. And since this radio does not have the reversing option for the throttle, you will always have to make sure that the ESC and the motor are connected in the proper manner. And this ESC has an on off switch with a program button on it, which I've just placed it over here with a double sided tape. Since we get a cooling fan on this particular ESC, I have installed that over here with just a single screw because there is no space to mount the second screw. And because this ESC was mounted on a plastic uh, frame, which is actually a part of the other half of the chassis. I had to cut it off in order to place this ESC securely, as you can see in this picture. So I cut the plastic portion and then I've used a double sided tape to fix the ESC on the chassis. So then let me show you how I've calibrated the transmitter to the ESC. So first plug in the LiPo battery and in here we have the receiver. So from this picture you can see how it's mounted. So you'll have to plug the ESC wire on channel 2 of the receiver and then secure the top cover. In order to calibrate the ESC, uh, set your radio switch to 100% and make sure your throttle trim is centered. So you have to press and hold the program button. So let me just remove the switch to make it clear. So to calibrate, you have to press and hold this program button and turn on the switch. and then release it so the ESC will beep so once the throttle is at neutral 
press this program button once then hold full throttle and press the button once more and then hold reverse all the way and press the button once more so now the ESC is calibrated to this radio transmitter so after installing this ESC you will realize that even with a tiny amount of throttle or reverse you can control this truck a lot better because the speed is a lot more proportional now unlike this particular ESC where the wheels would just start spinning at the higher speed even at a lower throttle or reverse just to show you guys the throttle curve on this ESC is a lot better and it responds quite well to the throttle input and that's the whole point of why uh, you would want to replace this and keep it aside also one other major difference between this ESC and the Hobbywing 35 amp ESC is that with this particular ESC you wouldn't be able to quickly control the truck because there used to be a delay of like of half a second or so whereas with this ESC we don't have that delay the moral of the story is that this ESC was just not good enough for this particular model even though it's a brushless ESC with a 45 amp rating you simply cannot use it well and it doesn't justify the truck and that's the whole point of why we have to replace it so that's all I have to share in this video I hope you found this video informative and helpful so please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you are new in the next video I'll run this truck bash it a bit and share it with you guys so that's all for now thanks a lot for watching